The Swiss Joint Research Center is a collaboration between the two major Swiss technical universities, EPFL, which is where I am in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, and ETH, which is in the German-speaking part of Switzerland, and Microsoft Research, of course. And it builds on a earlier collaboration between the three organizations, which was based around uh, embedded systems research, which was part of what all three of these organizations do. The new research center is much broader. It encompasses computer science in general, which is appropriate considering that both the universities and Microsoft Research have broad research programs that cover many, many different areas of the field and computer science. For a strong department, in particular department in computer science, it's really crucial to have industry collaboration. That does not mean that every research is pursued together with industry, but clearly computer science ranges all the way from fundamental research to really applied research, and is on that latter side where you need really the interaction with industry, just to stay up to date of what is really relevant. And I think this kind of interaction is, is mutually beneficial and, and stimulating. Scale Out Numera is one of the projects from EPFL. Um, there's a large research effort called Echo Cloud in uh, EPFL to, to look at data centers and data center efficiency and scalability. Data centers today consume already a non-trivial fraction of the world's energy production, particularly electricity production, and that proportion is growing with time. So it's important to find ways in which we can increase the capabilities of data centers over time and at the same time reduce the amount of energy that they consume. The key challenge then is how do you access that memory efficiently. We have a strong collaboration with Microsoft Research and that is because the researchers at Microsoft are very focused on solving big data analytics problems. And what these researchers have identified is the need to have ideally ultra low latency access to remote memory on a relatively large scale. And that was one of the prime motivations for our projects which is how do we deliver that ultra-low latency uh, to applications in a way that is efficient, in particular from an energy perspective. Yeah, one project that uh, got funded is called Human-Centric Flight Project. What's exciting about this project is that it combines cutting-edge technology on micro-aerial vehicles with human-computer interaction. And this has the potential to lead to a lot of interesting new applications. There's uh, rapid advancements in consumer electronics that actually make these flying robots feasible, make them realistic um, today. We can directly take these, um, these advancements, transfer them into the robotics context, and have machines that can not only navigate and, and uh, move around the world, but they also have perceptual powers. We're really trying to create a smart personal assistant that can fly, that can move in 3D space, that can kind of explore the world with you, um, create uh, novel user experiences um, anywhere on the go in mobile scenarios. One of the biggest technical challenges is on the hardware side, we have uh, a device that needs to be low power um, and it needs to be lightweight so it can fly um, and so if we instrument it with any type of computational capabilities or sensing capabilities both these things have to be power efficient and also uh, lightweight and so one of the things we're exploring is trying to take some of the depth sensing technologies that we've developed such as the Kinect and the Xbox One camera and try and make those smaller miniature so that they could be embedded onto, onto these flying vehicles. What motivates us in research is to study fundamental problems with the hope that the solution can have a large impact on the industry and on society. The Swiss uh, Joint Research Centre is a great tool for collaboration, first and foremost allows us to deepen existing and new um, relationships and allows us to do work that goes across uh, boundaries. We have this opportunity now to, uh, to work closely together and we kind of bring complementary sk skills to the, to the mix. There are very good people involved, so everything is possible from at least good or very good results, which I would res uh, expect from any one of these projects, up to real breakthrough. I think everything is possible.
Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available.